Hi everybody, it's Richard and I'm back for another video. And today I'm gonna do um an unboxing video of a box set that I just bought from one of my favorite classic rock bands of all time. I've been doing a lot of uh videos featuring them lately, and there's gonna be a few more coming up because I'm gonna get a few more of their box sets. I was gonna wait until I got the rest of their box sets that I'm gonna get until I make the video and do one big video. But one of my friends and my subscribers told me I should do one video at a time and make it a series. So that's, uh, I thought that was a better idea and that's what I'm going to do. Um, so today, and this is an order box set, so if you've seen this already, you don't have to watch this video. Today, I'm gonna unbox The Doors. Debut album box set. Um, this is one of my favorite classic rock debut albums of all time. I love it to death, I think, from start to finish. It's a 10 out of 10. I like, well, I can't say 10 out of 10, I'd say 9 out of 10 because I like uh, 11 out of the 10 songs on this. Um, I love 10, 11 out of the 10 songs on this. So, this is how it comes. It's like the shape of a book. Um, um, yeah, so I will be ordering two more Doors box sets, and I already have one that was gifted to me by, uh, uh one of my, uh, best friends here on YouTube, um, The Raw Stonian Report. Um, or I think he changed his channel, I think he changed his channel name, but his name's Stefan. He's one of my best friends on YouTube. But, uh, yeah, this comes in the shape of a book. I really like the way the cover looks here. And here is the back. Now, I got, I didn't do very good with the, uh, number here. I got number 28,000, um, 20, num number 28,086. Um, yeah, because this came out, like I said, five years ago. They started doing them in 2017, the, an the 50th anniversary of the Doors first album. Um, and I just got this today. So, I didn't do very well with the number. I like to have lower numbers. But, oh well, it's the best I could do. Now, I do have, like, two little complaints about this set. But I'll get to that, um, in a minute. Here. This is, uh, by the way, this is three CDs and one vinyl, if you don't have it. And I think that's mostly the way all the door sets come. Three CDs and one vinyl. So, you open this up. And you get a really cool four pictures of the guys there. Ray, Jim, John, and uh, Robbie. I really like the way that opens up. And then you've got the three CDs. Right there. You've, I, I'll, I'll tell you what all you get in a minute. But there is the space for the three CDs. And up here where it, up here is where the vinyl goes. Now I've also been told that CD, the door CDs are a little tricky to get out of here. And yeah, they feel like they're in there pretty tight. I'm trying to get one out. And they feel like they're in there pretty tight. So hopefully that won't be an issue. Um, and here's the little thing that came on the back of the, on the back. And you're getting, disc one is the Doors original album and stereo. Disc two is the Doors original mono mix. Disc three is live at Matrix March, March 7th, 1967. And 
the vinyl is the Doors original mono mix side one and then side two. So you're getting two, you're getting the uh, album in three different, uh, three different variations there. And honestly, I can never tell the difference between mono and stereo and what the difference is. But uh, that's what comes in this set. And this first little complaint I have about this set, this is a nice little thing, but I mean, is this. I mean, it's, it's a nice, I haven't even looked at it yet, and it's a nice little thing, but I mean, usually when you buy these box sets, and you're spending a good amount of money for it, you usually get like a nice book. The doors, I wish they would really like, give you more of a little book, then this is just like a big pamphlet. That's like, uh, one of the, um, little complaints I have about this set. But like I said, it's nice. I'm sure it's got some nice pictures and I'll look in it in a minute. And like I said, I haven't seen it yet. So that's a little complaint that I have. Let's see. Nice picture, but still. You see, you're coming to the end already. Only like two more pages. And then that's it. That's it. So that's pretty much it for the little thing you can hear a little bigger. But it's basically a pamphlet. So that's really, um, I mean, so that's a little grape I have about it. But it's still a nice set. And here's the vinyl. It's on the original Electra. Electra. I don't really want to take it out of the... You know what it looks like. I don't really want to take it out of the out of the plastic. It's on the original um, Electra label. And you can kind of see the, the Doors logo. So that's about it for this. Um. Another thing I would say is it's kind of hard to get the vinyl and the CDs in and out, but I mean overall it's a really nice set. I mean it, it's it, you get I mean it's mostly just music with the doors. You get a little like I said a little night a nice a little pamphlet and uh and you get three CDs and one vinyl. I think that's how each each of their sets are. Um, so I'm so I'm happy and I am planning to get um the other box sets. I already have one, and like I said, I'm going to make this a series um, when I buy these door box sets. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so stay tuned for the other one. Other ones, they won't be coming for a little bit because I I only ordered the one. Like I said, I have another one, but um, I have another one, but there's two more I'm trying to get, and then. The other two, the Doors made six albums total with Jim Morrison. The other two seem like they're almost very impossible to get and they're very expensive. So if any of you know how I can get my hands on, I'm either waiting for the Sum the 50th Anniversary Deluxe Set or uh, Strange Days, please write in the comments. I would really appreciate it. So um, until next time, remember, peace and love. Peace and... Oh, and another... Oh, and another little complaint I have, well, I mean, this really isn't a complaint, but, I mean, I was a little disappointed that I couldn't, I like to keep my box, my box sets in the shrink wrap, and I like to have the hype sticker on them, but the way they designed these, you can't really keep the shrink and the hype sticker on them, so I saved my uh, shrink and my hype sticker so that I have the uh, hype sticker. 
But uh, that's about it. I, I'm looking forward to diving into the music on this set. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't have this set, let me know if you're going to get this. Like I said, this is one of my uh, favorite debut rock albums of all time. And that's why I wanted to get it first. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new over here, please like and subscribe. It would really, I would really appreciate it. Until next time, remember, peace and love. Peace and love is the only way.